get all these ideas about what kind of videos you want to make and how you want to present things. In the end, you don't always have time. Here's a 2022 update on the Pajero Evolution. Uh, much like winter, uh, a, few, a few winters ago, I'm going to say 2019 or something, um, the car is apart again. Uh, my buddy rear-ended me and dented the over fender on this corner, uh, which obviously is off the car. You can't see it. Uh, so I removed it. And because this had to be removed, so did the sidestep. Uh, they're all overlapping in a way that sort of requires you to start at, at the very end, at the bumper, and travel down the course of the car. So if you're going to do one panel, you do them all. And all these clips are very uh, delicate, and I'll show you on a, a fender that I have here in storage about how to, how to do this, how to get these off easily. Basically, it's about $80 of clips uh, to do this because you destroy them when you take them off and you put it back together. More interestingly, um, in my field a couple of winters ago, I hit a cable spool that was basically in the middle of the field. It was like one of those parking lot donut videos when you see dudes doing donuts in the parking lot and they're like, there's no way he's gonna hit that one lamp post in the middle of the uh, parking lot and that was what I did. I hit the one uh, thing and it's all straightened out now, but this bent down like two millimeters and it made the gap a little weird. So I fixed that while it's all apart. This is very flimsy sheet metal. All the Japanese bumper reinforcements are really easy to manipulate. So anyhow, backing up a little bit. Uh, Pajero Evolution V55W body code Mitsubishi built 97 to I believe 99. Might have dripped. Yeah, I think just 99. It barely made it into 99. Um, this thing has a ton of coolers. This is a homologation truck. Um, because of that, they need to equip it with basically everything it's going to be raced with. This was homologated uh, to a Dakar. Um, this did a T2 class, which was like Group N kind of, it was sort of stock class. They purportedly raced with automatic transmissions because they have really good torque modulation and they're fine in the sand and they're durable. So this is so equipped with an automatic. This here is your oil cooler, your engine oil cooler for scale. My hand is here. It's probably one of the biggest Mitsubishi and any of their passenger uh, non-commercial vehicles that you'll see. Um, automatic transmission cooler, again, a monster uh, up at the front. Uh, this one has air conditioning as they all do standard. This engine is the 6G74 Myvec. Uh, it is a, a multi-inlet intake valve. It has long runners and short runners that are run off a of butterfly, which is controlled by that actuator right there. I might have talked about it in a previous video, but the actuator arm can break. So you guys that are getting Pajeros now, uh, this would be the first thing to check. Take this bracketry off here and just shine a flashlight down and make sure your actuator is opening up the long runners, because if it's not, you're probably down 40, 50 horsepower like I was for a whole year. Um, this winter I uh, had a little misfire. Initially I thought it was a damaged harness from mice, but it wasn't, thankfully, because that would have been pretty sucky. It was just a bad coil pack. So now uh, it's got three new coil packs. Uh, the truck actually only has three, three coil packs. It's wasted spark. It has three wires running off those three coil packs to service the other three cylinders on the opposite side. So just do them all. Do all your plugs. I had this off. I did the plugs. It has new gaskets. The thing's going to be running awesome. Um, it's already got new belts from a few years ago. Over here, I've got some supplies. I haven't put the air box or air, air filter back in um, because of mice, just in case. I don't want mice to get in there. Uh, so that's what you see these like, these are uh, fabric softeners. Apparently mice don't like those. So we're giving it a shot. And so far, I have to be honest, it's worked. I don't have a big mouse problem in here, but uh, no mice so far, so good stuff. Anyway, this engine work probably took eight, nine hours to do all the plugs, the coils, the gaskets. I did the knock sensor, which is deep inside the V. You have to take the whole intake manifold off uh, and a bridge, like a support bridge, and then the knock sensor's under it. 
figured while I'm in there, I might as well. I don't want to take it apart again. It's got new hoses uh, for the heater core. All the tough stuff I did. Um, when, when you guys start importing these things, definitely check your timing belt. These heads are mega bucks and also hard to find parts for. And uh, do your accessory belts and your, your uh, coolant hoses. I did a uh, Japanese car day at Lars Anderson Museum. And uh, upon pulling out in a line, the procession of everybody's well-kept Japanese cars, my upper radiator hose split like four inch crack. And I just sort of like hoped that I'd get out without anybody noticing. And the car was like starting to get hot. Thankfully, I limped down the other side of the hill and there's a gas station right there. And without the car overheating, we, we got a new hose on it just temporarily. But that was embarrassing. The hose actually looked fine, but it's, you know, 25 years old, so. Check your stuff. Um, some people have asked me what this stuff is. This is boat shrink. I've mentioned it in other videos. It comes in a roll. You just roll out two or three layers on what you're working on. It keeps your stuff from getting scratched. This winter also, I did front brake calipers. These are available, but now uh, in Japan that they are uh, a little more scarce. The price is cranking up and up. I believe they're about $800 each now new which is just insane you could buy ap's for that price these rotors despite the surface rust are brand new they haven't hit the ground yet these are japan only too for you pajero uh, evo owners uh, the worst most painful thing to have to ship from japan uh, the front suspension it's a little dark in there Let's see if i can lighten it up a little bit this is uh mitsubishi it's called army a r m i e suspension Let's see if i can get uh the light in here better. There we go. So Army suspension is uh, something like all-road multi-link independent suspension. And this this car is six inches wider than the standard Pajero. And uh, the travel is just immense. You can see how much droop it's got with this dual, even with dual wishbone in the front. It's a uh, pretty crazy droop. Um, the frame, let me see if I can get down here. The frame is like box welded in. You can see it's got more reinforcement along there, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's a standard short wheelbase frame that they modify. And then back here, another look at the, the Army. Uh, similar setup, lots of travel. It's got a trailing arm, it's got an upper link. And then like a lower link down here. And uh, these are pretty cool. Like the, the handling's good. It's, it's quite wallowy, but once you get used to it, um, you can really throw it around and it handles well. And it's uh, entertaining to drive. It's not as fast as uh, today's cars are by today's standards, but it's still very cool. Um, going around to the back, uh, if you have one in good shape, it should have all this stuff on it. Uh, Pajero badge, uh, Mitsubishi badge. This is all how it's supposed to look. Um, there's something a little weird with my windows. You can see up close there's like acid etching in them. It's like they're all like that. And I'm gonna try to have someone polish them this year. I, I talked to a guy, he said he could do it. But like you can kind of, that camera doesn't pick it up very well, but you can kind of see it in there. Um, one other thing people ask a lot about uh, on this car, is this, this is a cold weather package uh, sticker from Mitsubishi. And uh, the cold weather Pajero had two batteries, I believe, and maybe a higher rated alternator, a bunch of stuff for cold weather operation because these trucks are sold all over the world. The sticker was applied to the Pajero Evo because it wanted to, Mitsu wanted to designate this as a special, uh, specially equipped truck and they didn't have a sticker to do so. So they simply used the cold weather package sticker. And I'll show you here because the power of Google Translate. Cold region special specification car. I believe they all have that and they aren't actually equipped like cold weather Pajeros. So let's go take a look at a fender. We can uh, take a high liability walk up these stairs. The camera. A lot of the fenders are at the body shop right now. I'm having everything repainted. 
uh, while it's apart. My friend Joe there, he can't take everything at once because there's just not room. Uh, so he's going to take this stuff later. I think you can barely see some scratching on here from me hitting that cable spool. It's just a little stuff, but since the bumper's off, I'm going to have him fix it. And then the rear, this is previous damage. Someone kind of bent the bumper. It just needs to be heated and pushed back. Uh, I didn't do that, fortunately. This is a new fender I bought from Mitsubishi. On the inside of the fender, you can see this one happens to come with all the clips, which is cool. They slide out of the little, little sockets, uh, but if you don't have these, then you can buy, uh, buy the clips. Some of them are on towers. You can see this one is on a tower. If you don't go inside the wheel well, take off the splash guard and cut this clip, you'll break this tower off. It's very thin. It's like a, a U-channel. And if you try to pull the fender off to pull this out of the car, you'll break that off. And that sucks because you have to glue it. And sometimes it doesn't stay glued. So that's a tip. Cut as many as you can off from inside the wheel well before you put it back on. So anyhow, that's the status of the Pajero. Uh, we'll get back to M3 stuff soon. I have a video I'll upload uh, in the middle of the week um, with some uh, M3 updates. I'm going to weld a few more things in. Thankfully, i got a trailer. Uh, you can see the car down here. Not much has changed. Uh, i got a trailer, and this thing's going to go to Pennsylvania in two and a half weeks to get acid dipped. And then it'll be off to my friend Victor's. Thanks for watching.